Hey everybody, some Kirby here. Welcome back to level 4-6 of uh, Let's Play KDL3, Kirby's Dreamland 3 for those who don't like uh, abbreviations. And uh, we're trying to recreate that guy in block form in this little puzzle here. Now, there's one key aspect to this puzzle that uh, might get a few of you guys confused. Uh, the guy in the other room is actually upside down on his head. So we need to make this picture of him as if he would be standing up. So normally this figure would be looking the opposite way, but we need to turn it upside down so it fits his actual uh, body stance. So yep, we got the heart star. We can continue on. And what better way to uh, continue on than with level 4-1. The uh, heart star requirement I couldn't figure out, but thanks to the viewers, I have figured it out. So here we are, about halfway through level 4-1, and there's a reason why I started back this far. It's Let's Play Advertisement Time! Yay! Okay, enough of that. Uh, the first Let's Play I'll be advertising today is for... Largo233. Uh, he just finished up his uh, Let's Play Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday, which I thought it was really good. And he's starting his second Let's Play of Let's Play Moy Mallard in Cold Shadow. I may have uh, said the name wrong, but hey, just go to his channel. His videos are there. Uh, so far, this new Let's Play looks very interesting, so yeah, you should enjoy it. Uh, second Let's Play an, uh, advertisement is for Rabid155, uh, or Rabid155, whatever you want to call him. He is doing a walkthrough of uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, one of my favorite GBA games. And the last advertisement is for Rick Bullet 28 the jerk who tagged me a while back. I'm just kidding, he's not a jerk. He's a big jerk. Okay, not really. Uh, he is doing a Let's Play of Super Mario RPG, so uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, that's it for the advertisements. Let's get back to the game. Now, the uh, advertisement for this level is, we have to clean plants. We actually have to use Koo and the Broom ability to clean the flowers because they have dust on them apparently. Now, um, I actually did some research uh, after I found out it was Koo, and apparently Rick works for this as well. I don't know if there's any other partners that can also work for this using the broom ability. I know Kirby alone won't do it because I tried that in the other episode, but uh, yeah, that's about it. So that's how you beat this requirement. You just clean the flowers with the broom ability using an animal partner. Don't know why it was that hard to figure out, but it was, apparently. But, that doesn't matter, we're gonna have all the heart stars in this world, and that's all I care about. So, let's get that heart star. And you know what that means, guys? It's boss time! After we play this little mini-game. Now, I've actually neglected to talk about this, but, uh, whenever you land on the little, uh, evil faces, you don't get anything. Uh, someone asked me about that in one of my video comments, and I remembered that I forgot to talk about that. But let's go ahead and fight the boss, Edo, who may remind you of a certain character in Kirby 64 named Adeline. Now, even though I think I'm a Kirby expert, I don't know all the facts, especially since this is the first time I've actually played Kirby's Dream Land 3, so I don't know if Edo and Adeline are the same person or not. But, uh, Edo can make bosses come to life. Which is kind of a scary ability, so let's take down his creations. Uh, the first, uh, creature was the Ice Dragon from Kirby's Dream Land 2. And he also has the Football Fish, or... I don't know what the boss is called. I called it a Football Fish because it looks like the Football Fish in, uh, Animal Crossing, uh, City Folk. Uh, since you're not underwater, though, what you have to do is you have to swallow those stars and spit them back at them. Not a very hard boss. So, let's go ahead and take out this fish before he... 
Well, zaps us with electricity. And I'm sorry if you can hear some fierce winds blowing in the background. It is actually storming pretty hard in Indiana right now, which is weird because it was really nice yesterday. Or, not yesterday. Uh, the day before yesterday. I keep forgetting that I'm recording the commentary the day before the video actually goes up. And what do we have here? It's Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright! They are in this game! As paintings. Now, they're actually a lot easier than they are in uh, Kirby's Adventure and in Kirby's Dream Land 2. In this game, they kind of just float back and forth. You wait for one of them to drop stuff on you, and then you just spit them back at the other. Not a very hard boss fight at all. It's basically very repetitious. In fact, a lot of the bosses are kind of like this in uh, this boss fight. They just kind of drift back and forth. They don't really try to pose too much of a threat. You just have to wait for the right time and uh, swallow a projectile and spit it back at him. And we killed Mr. Bright. It's time to kill Mr. Shine. And he's dead too. Congratulations, we beat the boss. Wait a minute. It's Cracko! The boss I originally thought was the boss of this world. He is here, but as a picture, like the other guys. I don't know if I'm too happy about Cracko being demoted, but I'm just glad he's in this game, because Cracko is a cool boss. I still remember on the very first Dreamland game, I would always get stuck at Cracko. I had no idea how I could... Well, I knew how to beat him, but it was, like, very hard for me. He had so many attacks, he could move very quickly. In this game, he's kind of a joke. He just kind of moves back and forth, kind of like all the other pictures. So yeah, kind of disappointing, but I am glad he makes some sort of appearance in this game. Ah, come on, Cracko. So all you do is just wait for him to spit out his little guys, and then you spit him back at him. And at about halfway through his health, he actually changes his attack pattern a little bit. Or he actually goes across the whole screen with his lightning attack. And he does that about two or four times, it depends. I didn't really get the best glimpse at his pattern, but... He does that a few times, and then he actually starts releasing uh, more of his little guys, and then you just do the same thing you've been doing through the whole fight so far. Not very hard, but still, I'm just glad to see him in this game. It wouldn't have been Kirby's Dream Land without Krakow. Is anyone else very disappointed that he didn't appear in Kirby 64? I thought that was kind of bad to leave him out. I mean, Wispy was in Kirby 64. Whatever. At least Kirby 64 brought back Acro. Acro was a pretty okay boss for this game. And he's kind of being known as the water boss of Kirby now, so that's kind of cool. Okay, he has two more hits. He's going to repeat this pattern again. <sighs> patterns. Simple, um, repeated patterns. And I miss, so we have to go through this pattern one more time. Jeez. I guess I'll go ahead and mention something I haven't mentioned yet in this uh, series. Um, as you know, uh, I actually decided to do this game at the very last minute. And uh, when I made the decision to do this game, I actually got kind of worried because a few days after I made the decision, I saw that Azure Blade 49, a very, very popular YouTuber, decided to do this game like shortly after I decided to. So, yeah, I got really scared about the su success of this project, but. He hasn't really been updating much lately, so I'm kind of glad that uh, I did do this project because it didn't get completely overshadowed, but yeah. And we beat Addo. For that last attack, you could slide to maybe uh, not get hit by the damage, but I still had two hits, so I went ahead and just hit him head on. And we did it. I'm jumping for joy right now. Hooray. We beat World 4. We beat World 4. But that only means that the next level we have is World 5. 
So join us next time when we go to World 5. Uh, this is Slim Kirby. Uh, see you next time. Later, guys. And there is World 5. Bye.